I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is an unboxing of the U-Arm, a robotic arm from U-Factory being sold by SparkFun. They spelled the name of it wrong here, but that's okay. And this is a really new product. They only had about 10 when I uh, bought it on their website. And basically, it's a little desktop robotic arm. It's powered by Arduino. So here's what's in there. We've got um, some foam, nicely cut to store this. You can see that, uh, take that off. And here's the arm. So it looks like we've got some USB and power cords over here. Just your sort of standard thing. It's nice to include the USB though. Not much exciting there. And it looks like it's going to have that power brick with the plug going into it there. Let's see what we have in that brick. There it is. And it looks like it's actually a 5 volt. I don't know if it's possible to see here, but it's a 5 volt uh, power brick, but it's supplying 5 amps, so it's pretty beefy. I guess this probably draws a lot of current when you're moving the entire arm on them. And then let's see what else they've got. Of course, we've got the full arm. A little bit challenging to get out of the packaging. I do want to preserve this nicely cut foam in case I ever have to transport it in the future. Got some suction cups on the bottom of the arm. I'll try those out in a minute. Again, really nicely cut. I'm noticing that there's Something else. It's like we got a screwdriver for some reason. Anything else in here? It's good. Oh, there's a tiny hole here. Looks like there's something in it. Seems to be a extra gripper. The end of the arm has a little suction lifter on it. Seems like they've included an extra cup for that. Maybe a smaller size than the stock one. Okay, so that's all that's in the box. No instructions or anything as far as I can tell. But there's the actual arm itself. And you can see it's got a really nice kind of aluminum construction. Feels pretty solid. And we've got these suction cups on the bottom, I guess, to mount it to your work surface. The digital servos all up and down the arm to control the different joints. And again, here's that suction lifter with a nice little silicone cup on the end and a hose running down through the arm. I think that's going eventually into a vacuum system at the end. So I'll kind of put this upright and um, the motion of it is very nice. It sort of swivels around here at the elbow joint. Spin it around so you can see the whole thing. Again, we've got these servos and there's where the airline seems to come out from that elbow joint. It's going into a little solenoid down at the bottom here, if you can see that. And then on the other side, we have what looks like a little 5 volt vacuum pump. So this seems to be how they're driving that lifter. They'll turn on vacuum pump um, to create a vacuum and lift with a cup, and then use the solenoid, presumably, to release the suction. And you can see at the elbow, it's got a nice ball bearing joint here, so it's very well balanced and should be able to pick up and move pretty substantial weight. We've got some buttons on the side here for control. And let's see what else we've got. In the back you can see the air um, output from that vacuum pump and that stock Arduino, or maybe it's a customized Arduino, it's hard to tell underneath there, but something with the same form factor at least. And again we do have those cups on the bottom. We've got a nice little sort of package to hold all the circuitry in the back there. I'm going to try to put it down on the work surface here. And let's just kind of actuate the arm. Yeah, and spin through there with the elbow and the shoulder joint. And it should be able to extend. It has a pretty substantial reach there. You can see that the joint at the end there, the wrist joint, 
is automatically stabilizing. So as it reaches out, it maintains that cup perpendicular to the surface. Again, pretty substantial and pretty smooth travel here. They've done a good job of manufacturing the moral components. Now it's really stuck down, so these suction cups seem to be working actually too well. I'm going to slide it off the end here to, to get at the bottom part again. But there you have it. In future videos, I'll start to try to demo how it actually works with the computer.